welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. You can see in the intro, it's a little litty. But you know, today we're gonna get into today's video and my first story time about how I got catfish. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So to start off, let's take this guy all the way back, okay? We're gonna kick this guy all the way back to high school. I was a sophomore and I was 15, I think about to be 16. It was at the time where MySpace fell off and Facebook was like the popping thing to go to and everybody was on it and everybody was just like crazy over Facebook. So every day I would come home and I would go straight to my computer and get on Facebook. So one day, Something told me to just look through my mutual friends. I looked through my mutual friends and it was this dude on there that was kind of like the oddball out of all the group of people. Everybody else were located in the same place I was located in. And he was like the oddball because he was another state, completely different from where I was from. And so I clicked on his profile and I just looked and I saw that he had the same name of the same school that I went to but it was just in a whole different state and I thought that was kind of weird. And I asked my friend about this guy and she was like, no, she never heard of him. So I didn't think nothing else about it. I left it alone. It's like, okay. And I went on about my day. And so the next day I did the same thing. I came home, got on my computer. This time I get a request from this guy and I'm talking to my friend on the phone again. I'm like, uh, remember that guy I was talking to you about yesterday? He added me, should I um, accept his request or whatever? And she was like, that's not gonna hurt anything. You can just, just accept it or whatever. But let me just disclaimer, okay? This is where it's just like, <laughs> caution, caution. During this story, I'm gonna take a lot of advice from my friend. And even though in the back of my mind, I know this stuff is wrong, but I'm doing it anyway. So, I'm not blaming her, I'm just saying, like I said, I was 15 going on 16, whatever, so, you know, I was dumb and young, you know, I was gullible, if you will, but I was very smart, I should have just went with my conscience instead of going along with what my friend said, but I went along anyway, and I went ahead and accepted his request, and then I just had, like, a bad feeling from the whole thing, I was like, I clicked it, and it just... It didn't feel right, but I just did it anyway. I was like, maybe I'm tripping, you know, maybe I'm bugging. You know, what? what is accepting his request gonna do, you know? It's not gonna hurt nothing. So I accepted it, thought nothing else about it. Um, The next day, same thing, get on Facebook, and I look on there, and I get on there, log in, and as soon as I log in, the guy sent me a message, and I'm like, okay. And he was like, hey, and I was like, girl, you know that dude I was talking about the other day, he messaged me. And she's like, well, just answer him back, just talk to him, whatever. So I talked to him, I was like, hey, back. And then the first thing he said was, did I go to the school that he went to? And I was like, yeah, I do go there. I said, do you go there? And he was like, no, I go to the one, Ohio is where he was from, Ohio. And I was like, okay. And then he kind of did like LOLs. That's funny that we're, we go to um, the same school, but in different states. So that's how we started talking or whatever. Just, it was just like that type of stuff. And then it was like, nice to talk to you. And then that was the end of that discussion for that day. Then the following day, I got back on, not thinking nothing else about it. And he, hit me up again and messaged me. I was like, hey, how was your day? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cool, blah, blah, blah. And it was just casual talk. And then he was telling me how pretty that I looked and he liked my pictures and all this stuff. And I was like, okay. And I just kind of giving him short one word answers. I really wasn't giving him like that much conversation. And then that was the end of that conversation that day. And it really didn't go anywhere. And then the next day, and the next day, and the next day, it just started picking up to the point that every day that I got on, this guy was getting on and messaging me as soon as I got on Facebook. Uh, literally, as soon as I logged in and clicked the enter button, this guy was already on there, hey, 
went from hey to him sending me long paragraphs and just there's no way he could have typed that quick he had to already have typed it up and click enter when he saw i was online and then i started telling my friend like he's starting to be on there all the time and she was like you know maybe he likes you whatever you know i'm I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm still going along with it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe he does like me. Maybe I'm tripping still. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking this. Maybe I'm just doing too much in my mind, you know? Chill out, you know, dude's probably nice, whatever. You know, what, what is that to worry about? But then um, he really, like, in his messaging, you could really tell that he really started having feelings for me and just was really like, you're a nice person and I would like to get... To know you better so this all spanned it like within a week and like towards the end of the week he was like he would like to get to know me better could I be his girlfriend and I was like <laughs> okay first of all I don't even know you buddy we haven't even been talking and messaging for that long for you to even say girlfriend okay oh so I called my friend for some advisement okay I call her I'm like hey he is blowing me up and now he's saying he wants me to be his girlfriend. She says, what, what do you think she said? She says, just try it out. You know, it won't hurt anything. You know what I'm saying? Just try it. You'll never know if you don't try. So I try it out uh, and then I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be your girlfriend. Then he gave me, no, he gave me his number. I didn't even ask for it. He gave me his number. And, and so we just kind of text the, like the rest of that day. And then the next day, he decides that he wants to call my phone. So he, I get on Facebook and he's like, um, I'm about to call you, whatever. And I'm like, yikes. Like, I'm like calling my friend again. I'm like, bruh, like he wants to call and talk to me on the phone. She, she, here she go. Go ahead, Tika, just see, you know, just go ahead and see what he's talking about. Like, okay, okay, I'm listening to you. Cause I didn't even really want to do it, but she was just like hyping it up. She was like, just do it, Tika. Come on, you just, you don't know. I'm like, okay, 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 I'm, I'm gonna call him. I'm, I'm gonna answer the phone. So he calls me and it's, my heart is thumping out of my chest. Like, do, 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 do. My heart is, pumping out my chest because in the back of my mind, I feel like this dude that I've been talking to is some 50 year old man in Colorado who lives with his his mom and has cats and it's like the biggest nerd and plays video games and slobs on himself and is Cheeto puffs everywhere. I don't know, okay? That's what I'm thinking in the back, back of my head. This is a pedophile. And I, it has to be a pedophile in the back of my mind. Like, the way that the conversation was going, it went from high all the way to can you be my girlfriend? And it's been a, a couple of days. Like, it was planned out. And then, so I was like, okay, I, I get up enough nerve to get it together and woosa. And the phone starts to ring. I'm on the house phone with my friend because I told her I didn't want to get off the phone with her because I was scared. So she's on the house phone and he started calling my cell phone. And so I was so nervous, bro. I was shaking and I was just nervous. Like I knew I shouldn't have been talking to this dude on the internet. I don't know. I was scared for my life. He called one time and I didn't answer. Like he called all the way through and I didn't answer that time. And then he called again. And then I answered like on the third ring, held it to my ear and I was just like, I didn't say anything on the phone. And he was like, in the deepest voice. It's an old man, man. It's, it's an old man, it has to be. And I said nothing. I think I said hello one time. I did with anybody who, who wants to get out of a situation then, okay? The, the, the most predictable thing ever. I found the candy wrapper. I picked that guy up, got my cell phone, and I just beep, 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 okay? And he was gonna try to hit me up on Facebook if I got back on Facebook again. So I think I waited a couple hours and I got back on Facebook and I just, as soon as I got on there, he got on there and messaged me. I was like, what happened to your phone? 
and I was like, um, I got in, I lied. I said I got in trouble. I got my phone taken away for talking to him on the phone, um, and all of this stuff because I got in trouble with my mom. And he felt bad or whatever that I had got in trouble. And I was like, it's cool. We can just keep messages on here or whatever. He was like, okay. I just BS my way through the conversation the rest of the day. I was just like, I'm not feeling it, bro, because in my head, I mean, this is a 50 year old man in my head. So I just kind of was like, yeah, I gotta go, bye, type thing. I was like, I'm in trouble, I gotta go, bye. And I just kind of like, I kind of left it like that. And then the next day he still was trying to talk to me and I was just like, you know what? The whole girlfriend thing's not working out. Um, you're a nice guy, but I'm not feeling it no more and I can't be in my situation. So it was nice meeting ya and bye bye. Okay, bye bye. And so he was cool with it. He was like, okay, you're yeah, still a nice girl. And he was just like, it ended on an okay note with him. He was just like, I hope you find somebody and all this stuff. I was like, okay. You, you think I got out of it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got out of it, but it moved to the next person. So I talked to my friend and she tells me that this guy messages her. I'm like, okay, maybe I, in, in my back of my mind, like, bro, he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna do the same thing with her. He's gonna set her up and do the same thing. And she's like, nah, maybe not. Guess what happened? That guy, as soon as she clicked accept, that guy started messaging her with the same lines. The same exact lines that he was hitting me, he was hitting with her. And, but she's, she's just a little bit more outgoing than I am. She, she took a further step than I did. Actually was holding conversations with this guy, um, messaging like longer than I was. And then she actually had a phone conversation with him and he was trying to talk to her or whatever. And she just pretty much shut it down and was telling him like, hey, I'm not looking for a relationship. You seem nice, but I'm not with it. And then he was cool with it and he just stopped her on the phone or whatever, but he still was messaging her. And he was still messaging me after I told him the situation. It got so bad to the point that he still kept messaging me that I had to block him. Yeah, I had to block the guy. And it got so bad with her, even though she told him that she didn't want no relationship, he, she had to block him too. And then not only was it with us, it was with other girl. Found out that her friend, he was messing with her, he was trying to talk to her friend. And her friend told her that he was telling her the same stuff he was telling me and my friend. Now, it was like way more girls than I can count that he was doing this to like. And I found out that a lot of his friend lists were girls that had went to my school. And I'm like, oh, hmm, okay, that's odd. If you live in Ohio, how do you know these people? The way that he was messaging this stuff was so stalkerish and, and it was harassment and it was just a hot mess. Like it was just, he was just on there every day, every hour on the hour, talk, trying to talk on there. And it was just so annoying. And I'm so glad that I got out of that situation because it could have got a lot worse, a lot worse. It could have got real bad. If I didn't have common sense enough to know not to trust anybody online. The whole situation was just weird. It was just weird. And after that experience, me and my friend vowed to never ever speak to guys online if we didn't know them. Like it was just a hot mess. Moral of the story is be careful who you're talking to because everybody will not reveal themselves to you. And they not they may be a whole different person online than in person so at the end of the day that guy had to be somebody that went to my school that didn't want to be revealed didn't actually like the way they looked it had to be because it didn't add up it had to be somebody i knew but they was too afraid to reveal themselves or come up to me in person and you know talk to me well that's my catfish story slash online dating nightmare <laughs> please don't be me listen to your gut and be safe online bro it's not it's no joke with the news
Hey guys, I just found out that he's still online. Be aware. No, really, really. I just checked my freaking Facebook. Okay, this guy is still out there. Now he said he lives in Mississippi. This man still saying he went to that school. The same school that he told me. But now he, it, he changed it and said he's from Mississippi. When he told me he was from Ohio. So I'm back with, with some news. that They're telling me that he has two accounts of fakeness. Are you serious? Bruh. Are you serious, bro? This man has two accounts, and they're both full of lies. This is Tika saying, be careful for the thotties. Be careful for the thirsties. Back to you, Jack. So that is the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, I hope you guys are more cautious and don't do the same mistakes that I did. Please, if, if something doesn't feel right, listen to your gut. Um, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on all my social media to stay hipped on what's new on my channel. Also, in the comments down below, if you've had a catfish experience, please put in the comments down below. I would love to read your experience and talk to you guys down in the comments down below to see what you went through compared to what I went through. Maybe it was less, maybe it was more. I would love to know, so put in the comments down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye! I just want to fuck, make the best shit. She want to spend some time, that's a roll it. Saw her at the ditch, like it's stolen. Met her at the West End, where the best day. Kissing, they were sweating, doing lip things. Had to get up in that lit thing, hit a lit thing. Let her write the mic, yeah, no lip sync. They, they say that it last call, so let ball. I'm trying to have that ass on, or that paw. Throw it back like retro, like it's retro.